2021 Polestar 2 Review, Improving on Improvement. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. Between 2010 and 2020, there wasn't a single automaker that matched the progress Volvo made. Freed from the thrall of Ford and the unmissed Premier Auto Group, the Swedish automaker started the decade with new Chinese owners and never looked back, rolling out a string of fresh and successful models that adopted plugs before they were fashionable. Volvo is attempting to match that progress in this new decade, taking a similarly forward-looking approach to electrification by launching a dedicated EV brand, Polestar. While its first product, the plug-in Polestar 1, received rave reviews for its style and performance, even beating a pair of gas-only rivals in our modern muscle throwdown. The all-electric Polestar 2 is the first barometer for where the brand will land. Polestar is its own brand with a dedicated logo and unique messaging, but neither the PS2 nor its two-door siblings stray far from the traditional and minimalist design language of its parent. To the uneducated, this car is a Volvo and a cute one at that. Taut sheet metal complements the compact dimensions, while Polestar's designers made slight tweaks to traditional Volvo design cues at the front and rear. The broadly hexagonal grille is only a slight departure from Volvo's traditional rectangular waterfall, but Polestar replaced its parent company's chrome slats with black, square inserts. The headlights retain the Thor's hammer signature but adopt a slimmer and more expressive overall design that better suits the PS2's compact size. In back, a strip of LEDs join the lower sections of the skinny C-shaped taillights, giving the impression that the back of this car is taller than it is. The PS2's cabin is something of a mixed bag. We salute the automaker's decision to fit this ad with upholstery and interior trim that's free of animal products, but we wish there was a little less from the petroleum industry. Hard plastic is the predominant material on the dash, the sides of the high center console, and door panels. The cockpit-like design, meanwhile, is pleasant and modern, riffing on modern Volvos while adding Polestar touches, like the fancy gear lever. The main touch points, the seats, wheel, and that shifter, are suitably premium, but they aren't impressive enough to overshadow the abundant plastic. Despite the PS2's height, slipping into the driver's seat involves a considerable drop. You sit low in this cabin, an effect that the high center console and belt line exacerbate. But the seating position itself is excellent, and those front chairs provide plenty of support. The cruelty-free upholstery feels like a premium wetsuit, but it's more breathable than similar materials offered by brands like Ford and Subaru, Testing a car in a Michigan summer usually leaves us craving ventilated seats, but not here. The rear bench is a fine place for a pair of adults, with a fair amount of legroom and footroom. There's 33.9 inches of legroom in back, down on the Tesla Model 3, 35.2 inches. That's certainly worth keeping in mind if you're regularly hauling passengers, but 1.3 inches isn't a huge difference in the grand scheme. A greater benefit in our opinion is how easy the Polestar is to get in and out of, that high ride height and generous roofline make the second row a cinch to enter and exit. Our Polestar 2 didn't carry the performance package, Brembo stoppers, adjustable Olin's dampers, and 20-inch wheels but that was probably for the best. Even the standard suspension setup feels too firm and uncompromising. Potholes and imperfections regularly make their presence known in the cabin, jarring cabin occupants. The PS2's overall stability on rough roads is admirable, but there are more comfortable EVs out there. There are quieter ones, too. While the PS2 exhibits excellent control of wind noise, there's too much tire roar and slap, so your ears will suffer as much as your back does. The PS2 claws back some points with ample space for stuff. There's a sizable center console, a pair of well-placed cup holders, a big change cubby that features a mostly useless wireless charge pad, and right-sized door pockets. There is a small front where you can stow a charge cord, while the trunk offers 14.3 cubic feet of space. That's slightly less than the Tesla Model 3, 15.0 cubes, but the Polestar's hold is easier to access thanks to the liftback design.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like, leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.